Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. We're Pub and Bear Travels. I'm Dan. And I'm Bob. Welcome to another video. Something's missing. Yeah, something is. Would you like to... We'll be back in a second. That's so, better. Uh, <laughs> I feel an explanation is in order. Yeah, so as you may have noticed, <laughs> Christmas slightly changed. Last December, we attempted to do Vlogmas, opening at four different advent calendars, one door each day for all four. Mm -hmm. We didn't even get halfway through the calendar, and then we're about not feeling well, being away, depression, and your, and also everything like that. It just didn't happen. It's not even a finished series. So, in an effort to make up for it, we're doing a week of advent calendar opening. Yes. Starting now. So the idea is we're doing them early because we want to show you the ones that we've picked up and that we like the look of, uh, so that you can maybe watch these videos and decide it might be something you want to buy. Yeah. We will. Got... Sorry. Oh, so then you've got time to go out and find them and buy them. We will put the prices on the screen as we go. I haven't got them written down, so I can't remember what they all are. So uh, we'll put them on the screen and they'll probably be in the thumbnail as well as the price. So let's start. Yes. So our first one is going to be this one. Funko. Yes. So this is a Pixar Funko. And we also have a little screen on the other side to show you close ups of everything. Um, so we will show you close-ups, we'll show you on the camera, and we'll show you close-ups in this camera, which if Bob's editing, we'll put this in, otherwise it's going to look a bit weird. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. So when you first get the calendar and take it off, the back opens up like this. Which if we put it on the screen here, you can see you get a little display area, and then you obviously have all your numbers, etc. So would you like to open number one, Bob? Certainly. Yep. So there we go. And number one is it's uh, the numerical. These Funkos are always numerical. Oh, well, that's that's boring. All right. That's why I can't see as well. It's hidden in the icing. Uh -huh. So number one. Is you can open it. Alien from Toy Story. We'll show you on the. Honest. Hopefully, this little close up works fine. But yeah, there he is. Little uh, alien. The claw. The downside is the camera's upside down, so trying to remember which way to turn it to make it thingy on the camera is going to confuse me. But yeah, there we go. Number two, as we said, just to show you, these are. Numerical. It's difficult to show you because the, the thing. So numerical, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. So number two will be here, which we did. We have unboxed one of these before, so we knew these were numerical. I just don't know why we didn't remember that. Hindsight as well, we should have probably bought scissors with us. Ah, oh, we got Woody. It's so cute. Little Woody, look at him. Isn't he cute? His little present in his hand. Yeah, he's cute. Hopefully there's enough light showing on there uh, for you to see it. Um, but yeah, there he is, little Woody. Number I'm sensing a theme. Who? Oh. To infinity and beyond. Buzz there for you. Little Buzz Lightyear. He looks like he's flying, which is kind of cool. I like that. I quite like that one, actually. I also like the fact that it's not Christmas themed. Yes. Because then you can have him out on display all the time. I mean, you could technically have him out on display all the time anyway, but... Yeah. Like all the ones behind us on the shelf from last year's <laughs> advent calendar. A number four, again, numerical, so it's easy to find. I, I'm, I, the rest of the calendars probably won't be as easy as this, but you know. Let's see who we've got. 
Well, they all seem to have stands on it because this one I can feel has stands on it. So far, we're just getting Toy Story characters. So we've got Jessie. There she is, the little hat. Yeah, the details are quite nice. I think the paint jobs are really good on them, to be honest Funko with you. Funko usually are quite good with the quality, aren't they? Sometimes, but some of the big ones, you always find there's like a flaw in all yeah. of them, so. Yeah, that's why I haven't said that yet. <laughs> We've sent a few back to land, like, yeah, that, to them before. Yeah, beast in costume, actually, yeah. Yeah. Terrible. They take back what I said. <laughs> when he says beast in costume, he means stitch in costume. As beast. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. What's the strong smell of new plastic? New plastic. <laughs> Can't decide whether I like it or not. It's not necessarily an unpleasant smell. Our first non Toy Story character. Whoop whoop. Mrs. Elastigirl, Mrs. Incredible. Yep. Yeah. There she is. I like the fact these. Are, I don't remember them all being on little base plates last time though, so this they is quite weren't. good. Yeah. Because you do find a lot of these that they just fall over because their legs are so small compared to their heads. But yeah, cute. I'm guessing... They don't have to go on my side, they just, just, just put them out of the way. I'm guessing number six, just based on the way it's going so far, I reckon Mr. Incredible. And I guessed correctly. Mr. Incredible is wearing a little Santa's hat. And there he is on this camera in case you want to see. Little Santa's hat. Yeah. Just as you were saying, they're not wearing Christmas stuff. I know. So far, two out of the six we've done have something Christmas with them. Oh, yeah, because we had a parcel. Yeah. Yes, so that's it so far. All right. Number seven. As these are all numerical, we're not going to show you which of the numbers are because it's not necessary. Oh. We got Violet from The Incredibles. Violet, returning Violet. Oh no, wait, wrong Violet. I thought she was blowing bubblegum then for a second. There we go. It's just time to do one of her little power balls, isn't she? Yeah. Um, I will, I'm not sure if the colours are showing up completely properly until we watch the footage back, but I'll check and we might have to adjust it because on our screen she looked very orange in the face, but you won't know because we would have already edited it, but there she is. This is one where there is a slight flaw with it. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see, but on her mask there's like a little bump. You can actually see it in the camera there. So yeah. Number ocho, number eight. These are, what I do like about the Funko calendars is the cardboard is very, what's the word? Not rugged, not the word I'm thinking of. Thick, like that kind of thing. Um, so that they don't rip apart. Cause you find on a lot of advent calendars when you open them, they tend to like rip apart as you open each of the doors, but this one's not too bad. Another one from The Incredibles. So it seems to be going in film sets so this is dash there he is little dash nothing christmasy about him which is good so so far only two christmasy type ones on to number nine in hindsight maybe we shouldn't have brought both warm bells because we're trying to be careful not to ring the bells especially as they're right next to the microphone oh. ah little baby jack jack He's cute. Cutie patootie. Oh, there he is. Little Jack. Again, nothing Christmasy about him. So, is it going to be Edna Mode or are we going to move on to a different film? It could go on to Monsters, Inc. Let's find out. The door has... I don't think... No, it doesn't mean anything, but the door has Sully on it. So it doesn't mean anything because Wally was on number eight, which wasn't that... Oh. Is this a rare one? Is there, you meant, is there like exclusive ones you get? Or is this, no, it doesn't say, does it? Hmm, interesting. So we've gone back to 
Buzz Lightyear back to Toy Story, but this is a very bizarre looking one. I'm assuming it's Buzz Lightyear. It looks just like him as, yeah. But yeah, he's got a blue face and a completely white suit instead of, hmm. I don't know. I don't know whether this is a set that has like rare ones that you can also possibly get or whether that's what you always get on that day. I mean, the body has got blue markings on his suit. Mm. It could be that his visor's down or something, but it's, it's not how his visor looks, so. No. Nothing on the box mentions the possibility of getting a um, rare or anything. There is only four film franchises in it, so Monsters, Inc., uh, Monsters, Wall-E, Incredibles, and Toy Story, so maybe that's how they're getting around it. Could be. We'll find out in the next one then. So that was that was number ten. Ten. So eleven. Oh. Why? And he's Christmas. He's got a hat on and his little candy cane. Yeah, he's cute. Wally with his candy cane. Very cute. Number 12, halfway point. In case you don't know what an advent calendar is, because we didn't explain it, um, not everyone uses advent calendars, but it's basically a countdown to Christmas. You generally have 24 doors to open, some of them have 25, etc. Um, but yeah, as kids growing up, we generally only have had chocolate ones. I don't know whether you were the same. Yeah. Basic, cheap supermarket one with a little tiny bit of yeah. chocolate bell, chocolate snowman, chocolate whatever inside each one. Yeah, normally in Christmas theme. But as time's going on, uh, we're seeing a lot more different types coming out. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd explain that because we didn't explain it at the beginning and I know not everyone knows what an advent calendar is. So next we have, I cannot remember his name, Mo, I think it is, because it says Mo on it. I didn't even know he had a name. Um, this is from Wally. It's the little bot that cleans up the, um, like the dirt on the ship. So he's cute. Does his head move? No, it doesn't. It's just wonky. There he is. Cute little thing. Cute little character. Not my favorite, but hey. On to 13. Unlucky for some. Is it going to be unlucky for us though? And then yeah. just, I think I just saw who that yeah, was. Yeah, through the bag you can work out who it is. If you want to spoil your um, surprise, you can have a look, but <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're opening it anyway. Exactly. Eva. <coughs> now on a little swirl, bless her. So I have a cough, so um, I apologise if I cough accidentally. We will try and edit round it if I do, but um, every now and again it might catch you by surprise. But there it is, little Eva, or Eve. Morley pronounces it Eva, but her name is actually Eve. Number 14. Ooh. I don't know why I'm doing it towards the camera now, because you can't see me opening the door anyway. Oh, it's little Boo. She's so cute. That's a very cute one, I like that one. I just went to look towards the other screen to check if it focused, but <laughs> it's not the right camera. There she is. Little Boo. Cute little details. Yeah. Comes up the it. Number 15. Who are we going to get? We're getting Mike Wazowski. <laughs> There's oh. oven mitts on. Oh yeah. That's the scene where he's uh, chasing on the compartment. Yeah, because um, children are toxic to them. Well, they're not, but they think they are. Well, I thought it was actually, but looking at it from here, it looks like it's got snowballs. Oh, it has got a snowball, yeah. So I thought it was the oven mitt scene, but yeah, no, I think it's him with well, maybe not, yeah. Christmas gloves on throwing a snowball. Don't want to get his hands cold. Hmm. Number 16. So 
So this I suspect will be Sally as we're starting on the Monsters Inc. characters. Oh. Okay. This. A um, little bit disappointing, but we've got another Eve. She is almost identical to the other one. So I'll show you on this camera. There she is. And here's the other one. The colours are ever so slightly different. To me, this feels a little bit of a um, cop out to do this. Yeah. I can understand if they had different things, like holding on to different accessories, but they're not. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I think, if I remember correctly, this was about £30. It would explain the buzz maybe as well. Yeah, but arguably uh, Buzz is a little bit better because he's like fully different to, I didn't compare them, um, but just to show you, the Buzz is like, though he's the same pose, all the colours are completely different, whereas Eva is like just slightly different. So not my favourite, but hey. Mm, it's a bit cheeky. As I said, this was about £30. Uh, we'll put on the screen how much that is in, in dollars. But, um, so yeah, it's a bit mm, cheeky. Yeah. Number 17. Nope, nope. Yep, there you go. There's plenty of characters they can use from each of these film franchises, so... Plenty of franchises. Yeah. Oh. Alien from Toy Story. Again, it's like a shiny version or whatever these are, whatever they call it, special yeah. version. So this is the one we just got and this is the one we got before. Now again, arguably this is slightly better than the Eve recolor, I think. Just, it, it still don't, don't like it, but Eve whoop, was only slightly different, whereas this is like fully different but I still don't like the fact that they're repeating. Because so we're halfway, only halfway through the calendar. Well, well, we've only got like three quarters of the way through the calendar now, so that means potentially yeah. half the other rest of the ones that are left could be. I mean, even if you're sticking with just these franchises, you've got things like Bo Peep, uh, you could do Mr. Prickle Pants, you could- Mr. Mr. Potato Story. Head. Mr. And Mr. Potato Head. And there's so many different characters they can do, and we know they do them in Funko form, so. Let's see what we get this time. This is a different character, luckily. Number 18. Though he does look, he's here, yeah, he's, he's different. I don't know, I keep forgetting to show there. Um, I keep looking at the wrong camera, I'm getting myself so confused. So it's Frozone from Mr. Incredible, from The Incredibles. He isn't normal, as it were, because he's all like slightly see-through, even his body's see-through. So he's in this set of old ones. Yeah. So I don't know whether we'll get another one of him. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah. And we know Let's there's see. a Sully somewhere along the line because he's on the front of the box. Yeah. So let's have a look. Get up in the micro. Our last row. Yep, 19. Fingers crossed for non duplicates. Technically, it's not an exact duplicate, it's just a recolor. I know. But ah, speak of the devil. Okay, we like him. Yeah, Sully. There he is, plain Sully. No Christmas stuff on him, which is good for me because then I like having him out on display all the time. People all, as I said, people argue you can have him out on display all the time anyway. We have three hundred yeah, Christmas stuff. Yeah, we've got lots of Christmas stuff out already, like all the time. Number twenty. Four more days to go after this. See if it's a fully different one. Oh, it is. There we go. This is good. I like this one. This is Celia from Monsters Inc. There it is. I really like the detail on that one. I think it looks really yeah, good. Nice pose with the snakes coming right yeah. out and everything. Yeah, it's a really good one. Almost redeems itself. All right, number twenty-one. You mentioned her, there she is. Ooh, Bo Peep. Bo Peep from Toy Story. Yep, we like that one. A fully different one, so that's always good. Nothing special about her, just it's Bo Peep. Number 22. 
hopefully it's not one that we've already got in a different colour. Okay. So it is Frozone in his normal colours, um, which again, not a fan of them doing this. But hey, I don't... I prefer it in his normal colour. The... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of them having same models but in different colours. We'll have to look back at our previous Funko to see if they did it with the previous Funko calendar that we've had before. I don't I remember. Think, I don't think it is. Yeah. 23, Christmas Eve. Penultimate one is... No, it's Christmas Eve Eve. Yes. <laughs> you had to think about that. I knew it was the one before last time. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Whatever they're calling this range, Jack Jack. Dear me. There he's again, identical to the other Jack Jack, just in the clear blue colour. Now, 24, arguably, should be something different, something special, potentially something really Christmassy. So let's see. Well, there's nobody particularly missing from the series as the show now, is there? Um, what We've the got all the main characters. Series? We've got the main characters from all of the three or four franchises now, I believe. Well, you could argue Edna Mode should be there for Incredibles. Yeah. Let's see, shall we? All potato heads from... Yeah, or one, at least one of them, yeah. yeah. Number it's 24. Not, it's not as a bigger door, so it's going to be a double, double pack. Now, sometimes you do get a bigger door on the last day, sometimes you don't. We've got everybody that's on the box, as on the picture, so let's see. Oh. So it is Boo again, as the clear thingy my bob. So there's the other one. Arguably, it looks like a bit more Christmassy because of the white on top of the head, but yeah, that's it. Right, anyway, here's the full set. Not very well displayed because they, they don't, the angle I've got the camera at doesn't really work for it. But there's the full set. Um, so they, it's a nice little set of them, but I'm a little bit disappointed in the duplication. I know it's not duplication, but um, yeah. I don't like the fact that there are similar ones of, of, of the same ones, but yeah. I can see that it's probably supposed to be in the most case, like ice variations, perhaps. But mm. well, that doesn't really work for Eve because no, she's not really see-through brew like it's no. bizarre. Whereas like Jack Jack is like fully see-through. And so show the camera. Alien and Boo, yeah. Yeah. Um, but bear in mind they're Funkos, and mini Funkos are worth uh, a few quid each as well. Eve, is, is it worth it? I still think it might be. I don't know. I think I think the problem with Funko calendars is that you don't know what you're getting in it. You know you're getting specific films in it. If you don't like Monsters Inc., then who wouldn't like Monsters Inc.? I know, but just as an example, if you don't like Monsters Inc., you get you've got a few in here for Monsters Inc. and you won't like them. You obviously you'd buy this calendar only if you liked uh, Monsters Inc. or all of the films. Um, but yeah. 20, I think it was 29.99 as I said, 30 pounds. I think that's the going rate for this type of calendar. So I wouldn't say it's a bad value. If you like these characters, it's good value. I don't like the fact there's a duplication -ish issue. Yeah, having just put them aside so you can see them separately. Yeah. So six out of your 24 are technically duplicates. Yes. The colors changed, yes, because it's, well, I'm assuming it's mm -hmm. ice or snow or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, still six out of your top 24 that are. Though I will say my favorite one out of it is Celia. So little Celia here, she is so cute. I really like her. So that's my favorite out of the set. Uh, do you have a favorite, Bob? Probably Wally. Wally, the normal Wally, yeah? The... Yeah, it's the only Wally. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, probably. Oh. Oh. There we go. For me, it's going to be a little Christmas. He's so cute with his little hat yeah. and his candy cane. And it is a Christmas calendar after all. I think calendar. So that's my favourite. Least favourite for me out of it would... I mean, I, if I'm not, I can't say the whole... If I can't say the whole of the ice one, I would say is Eve. Just because she's like the least changed. 
Uh, I can see like this bit see through, but like the bottom, but I think she's the least changed personally for me. My least favorite would be the um, special one of Boo because it's just so hard to make out a lot of the mm. details where she's all the one color. Well, yeah. Two colors. Yeah. Especially when you can compare her against the normal hair. <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> do you this. Do you want to do it? I'm looking in the wrong cross room into this big screen and it's you know, hard. Yeah, because you've got so much detail in the normal one that it's so hard to make any of it out in the special. Yeah. So it's going to be subjective as to whether you like this calendar. I do like it. I just don't like the um, the weirdness of the extra type you get. And I'm just double checking it again. There is no mention of any of them being specials. No. Or anything like that that I can see. Yeah, there are some advent calendars that they'll have special characters in there, but there'll be like a rare version of it. Yeah, like holding something different or... Yeah. And it'll be, but it could like, I wouldn't mind so much if like, you had a chance of getting one of these as a replacement for, say, this one. So instead of getting this one, you might get this one. There's a chance to get this one. I don't mind that so much as long as there's a full variety of other characters. I just don't like the fact you get the same character pretty much twice. But I'm not, <laughs> it's, let us know what you think in the comments below, um, whether you agree with us, whether you disagree with us. You can tell us that we're just talking a load of crap, if you really want, <laughs> uh, and that you really love it, which is fine. I'm not saying that anyone that likes it is wrong, because you're not. It's all subjective, just as my personal, or our personal opinion. I can't talk for your opinion, but, you know. But yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing of this advent calendar. As we said, we're going to have um, another six of them coming up. And then going to be a variety of different ones. So keep an eye out for which ones come up. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, please subscribe to the channel to see more from us. You can hit the little notification bell. Give it a like, a thumbs up. Let's if you liked it, obviously. If you, like it. If you didn't like it, Give it a thumbs down if you need to, but it does the same thing. Yep. So you might as well give it a thumbs up. Yeah, it <laughs> um, You can also follow us on our other channels if you like, which are? Instagram and TikTok. Mm -hmm. We have a Facebook group and our website is peppermedtravels.co.uk or .com, which is everywhere else. Yep. So apart from that, thank you very much for watching and we'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.